After the patient has been disconnected, the bloodline on Sodial X can be emptied. Before confirming the bloodline removal, connect the venous line to the arterial port. The arterial line should still be connected to the venous chamber. Disconnect the pressure lines and make sure their clamps are open. Open the clamp box doors and ensure all clamps on the blood lines are open as well for the blood fluid mix to move to the dialyzer. Remove the blue coupler from the dialyzer and return it to the rinse bridge. Before fully attaching it, place a cap on the dialyzer and clamp the blood line above the blue dialyzer connection. Now fully attach the coupler and Sodial X starts removing the fluid from the dialyzer and the blood line. Once the blood line is empty, return the red coupler to the rinse bridge. The blood line can now be removed and Sodialex is ready for disinfection. To empty a HDF blood line, the arterial line should still be attached to the substitution line and the venous line should be connected to the arterial port. After confirming the blood line removal, disconnect the pressure lines and make sure their clamps are open. Open the clamp box doors and ensure all clamps on the blood line are open for the blood fluid mix to move to the dialyzer. Remove the blue coupler from the dialyzer and return it to the rinse bridge. Cap the dialyzer and kink or clamp the blood line above the blue dialyzer connection. Now fully attach the coupler to the rinse bridge and then disconnect the substitution line from the substitution port. So the starts removing the fluid from the dialyzer and blood line. Once the blood line is empty, return the red coupler to the rinse bridge. For a closed circuit, connect the arterial pressure line to the substitution line before removing the blood line.